Lois. Hey, how's it going, art nerds? And welcome to another YouTube video. And in this type of video, I'm going to be doing something a little different, right? So instead of the usual um, scripted, recorded uh, tutorial I usually do, in this one, I'm basically just going to be drawing live, no script. Right now, I'm just, you know, going to show you uh, the tutorial as I draw it. Okay. So in this video today, I've got a bunch of people who have DM'd me and messaged me on all types of platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and I've even seen it on some of my YouTube comments. Uh, people asking me to show them how I draw hands. Okay. Now I draw hands in a way that I like to think is unique. Um, I definitely came up with it myself. I'm not saying it's original and it's the only way, um, you know, I'm the only person that draws hands this way. I just know for a fact that I never watched anyone that drew hands this way. And um, it's a method that I call the um, French fry method, okay? Please let me know in the comments if you've watched the YouTube video about drawing hands similar to this one in terms of like how they draw their hands. Okay, so what I mean by the French fry method is we all know what French fries look like. They're just um, long cubes. I don't know if there's a more technical term to it, but basically this is what it looks like. This is, this is a French fry, or at least what a French fry should look like. I mean, you have some of those wonky French fries that look like this, you know what I mean? that you know for some reason tastes the best but let me not go off topic here okay so basically this is what a french fry is now my method that i call the french fry method is when you're drawing the hands you need to think of the fingers as french fries but you know what about the palm what about the main part of the, the hand well i just say it's just a it's just a box or cube you know what i mean okay let me show you and basically to break it down, I'm just going to draw all the different shapes for the hands that you're going to need that you're going to put together to form a hand. OK, so this shape right now that I'm drawing is what you would use uh, for the palm. OK, and then I usually let's put in four, four holes right here. OK, let's just put in four holes and um, this I'll put another one right here. This is where the thumb would go. OK. So this this is the this is the base for what the hand for the hand I mean draw the fingers as French fries as we said earlier and and also it really helps if you know how to draw shapes uh, 3D shapes uh, you should definitely practice that as you won't be able to do this if you don't know how to do that if you can't draw sh um, three uh, shapes in 3D and put them in perspective this 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 tutorial won't be much help to you so these three is basically what you would break down the uh, the index, the middle, uh, the ring finger, and the pinky finger into. What what does the thumb look like? Well, the thumb is not so... F well, it could be a french fry, just a fat french fry. <laughs> okay. So basically, this is what the french fry would look like for the thumb if you broke it down into, into simple shapes, okay? So basically like that. This is, this, is, this is what the thumb would be, okay? I came up with this method, really, and honestly, it was at the same time that I came up with this method of drawing hands was the exact same time that I mastered um, hands, or at least I feel as though I mastered hands. Now I have so much fun drawing them as opposed to like the dread that I used to feel every time I wanted to draw them. To start off, so I studied Gege Akutami, the, uh, the author and the writer of Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, I studied his hands, and it was then that I mastered hands. But basically, let's, let's, let's start with a... A straight stiff hand okay so like I said earlier let's 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 put it in more of an angle so we can see the actual shapes from the hand okay so if you think about it this way let's say this is the palm right and um, to make to make things a little more easier to show visually let's say this is a right hand okay so like I said and I, I don't use squares for the holes I, I usually use cir like circles or, or ovals so one two three, four. That's how I always start out. So that's what a thumb would be right here. This is where the index, uh, this would be the middle, this would be the ring, and this would be the pinky. Okay, and now let's start. Let's, let's go ahead and put those uh, french fry shapes in. Okay. We're not going to do anything too fancy in terms of hand pose on this one. I'm just doing this for you to get an idea of how I do it. So that would be the thumb, and then french fry uh, index finger. And the thing is, you want to know and you can easily do this by looking at your own hand. You want to know what fingers are longer than the other. You know what I mean? So this is the the index finger is about let's say this length. Uh, the middle finger is always longer than the index finger. Okay, French fry again. Remember, right? And eventually, when you get to when you get comfortable with drawing this way, you won't even need to, you know, make them French fries. You can just go ahead and jump right into it with the actual shape of the fingers. But we'll get there. 
Okay, so that's the middle finger longer than the index finger. The ring finger is usually about the same height as the uh, index finger, but just a little taller, but not as tall as the, the middle finger. I hope I'm not confusing anyone here. Okay, so these are the three fingers, and then that was the pinky. The pinky is the smallest finger, but it's not too small. It's just a little smaller than the index finger. I'm going to go ahead and draw this simple french fry shape here. Boom, okay. Now I'm going to bring this to the center here. So this, this is the basis of the finger. Uh, a lot proportionally a lot of things are not quite where they need to be but it's all right uh, as long as we know how to spot the um, the mistakes right and then correct them so right now I'm gonna make all the fingers just a little longer still keeping the um still keeping the length differences among the fingers consistent so the middle finger will always be the tallest finger okay so this is right here so let's make another layer here and we're gonna draw over this and I'm gonna show you the magic of it the next step that I like to do is one finger at least uh, of the four main fingers it bends in two places now i'm not talking about the knuckles so let's we're not talking about the knuckles right now the uh, the finger bends in two places right so there's there's a bend here and there's a bend here right and uh, for the middle finger it's going to be higher because the middle finger is taller here and here it bends there okay for the third finger the ring finger is going to be just about the same as uh the index maybe maybe a little um maybe a little higher right so it bends here and it bends here and for the pinky it is the smallest finger so it's going to be lower here i'm going to actually raise this up a little and it's going to be there okay for the thumb the thumb bends where it connects to the um palm so like here it'll bend here and it also bends towards the fingernail which would be here okay and um basically one other thing that i like to do for my french fry method is at these at these lines where the fingers bend you want to add a, a crease right because when you keep your finger straight there's usually a crease right so i always just do something simple like this you see boom add the creases okay right now it doesn't look much like a hand well you can kind of see the hand shape coming together and now let's make another layer and let's uh, finish it off here so generally you want your fingers to have a more overall boxy shape to it i think artistically it looks better as opposed to round when they look round they look a little more goofy a little more silly uh, unless that's what you're going for and that's your style okay one other thing that i should add before we go ahead and make the final hand i like to pronounce the knuckles of the hand so does the um artist Gigi Akutami for uh introduced to kaizen you pronounce the knuckles and i always just do a, a diamond shape okay it looks a little silly now but i'll show you what it looks like and let's make the last layer here and we're gonna draw the hand okay and so like i said you round the tips of the finger a little bit but still kind of give it an overall square shape this is why the this is why the french fry method is very important because it can teach you the the shape of what a finger should look like at least artistically okay you see the bumps we're gonna add those bumps now okay gonna add the bumps here and then knuckles right you don't want uh, for the knuckle when you're when you're drawing the final thing uh, you know whether you're making the final sketch or the final inks you don't want to draw the full diamond of the knuckles okay okay and then this is the finger and then there's no obviously you see this bump right here that i did with the square you want to know that the fingers the hand doesn't is not shaped like a cube so you you kind of smooth it into the thumb it's the thumb right here because of the angle that i drew this hand you can't see that first bend okay so, but it's gonna bend there. Okay, can't really see it that well. And then for the for the bend closer to the um to the nail of the thumb, it's gonna be around here. Okay. Now in my um sketch of the boxy fingers, I made it a little long. So let's 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 cut it. Let's cut it shorter. But like I said, you want to keep the overall boxy shape of the hand, right? So boom. But you still want to round out the edges. Okay. And then see, you see how everything's coming together. When we're done, I'll I'll remove I remove the bottom layer and show you the, the completed hand. Okay, and um, so the, for the fingernails, you will never want to draw the full square like this. It looks a little, it looks a little too weird. So what I always do is I draw, I draw the top um, line, the line at the left and right, but I never draw the bottom line because it looks a little off. So I always just do that. And this is my style. This is my style, and I choose to do this stylistically. Uh, you can draw the full nail if you want, but I do it like this. Okay, and so does uh, the the artist of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen as well. So let's do the same thing that we did on this finger in the second one okay so like this okay and then let's add the diamond knuckles let's not make it too pronounced but you want to definitely show that it's there and like i get like i said 
stylistically you can uh, do what you want um but this is basically how i do it right because the messages that i get frequently from people is how do i draw hands they like my style of drawing hands for some reason and um i'm gonna put this this bump here on the ring finger i'm sorry if i stutter a little this is like this is why i record scripted because sometimes it's hard to get my thoughts together especially when i'm trying to draw at the same time and like as you can see i'm adding these lines to the knuckles not the knuckles sorry the bent in the finger that's because it's I, I stylistically like to show that okay let's do final finger the pinky and the bends right here another one right here and then put the lines and then let's add the knuckle okay and there we go so let's remove the bottom let's remove the, all the layers at the bottom now okay so this is the hand the hand looks a little chubby <laughs> like i have for example the for a mistake i'm seeing is this middle finger is a little too fat and obviously i'm drawing digitally so i can just easily fix that and if you were even were if you're drawing traditionally um I, I you don't want to really just go straight into an ink right so you would have sketched this you would probably recognize the mistake and then you fix it so it's not it's no problem to make mistakes okay and what i do personally again is i like to put lines around the on the fingers and i'll show you where i like to put them because it makes it a little more pronounced and it gives this feeling that i find i personally find satisfying in in, in my hands and in the hand the way jujutsu kai's an author yeah, yeah, Kotami draws hands is he draws the lines right here where the where the creases would be okay where the crease this is a nail by the way let me pronounce that more okay draws the lines here around the around the ends of it okay but you don't want to make it too much otherwise it'll look like a zombie's hand or something and then here i'll do that and lastly i like to add the bones that connect from the knuckles to the wrist i don't know the actual scientific term if you know that please let me know let everyone know in the comment section but i connect the bones like this and i connect it towards the middle of the palm right so this this spot that i've marked black right here is where you want all the the bones to connect and like i say you never want to draw it fully right you want to draw it a little sketchy like you see i even i drew them too clearly and i'll erase that and there this is this is a hand this is how i draw hands in my style um i also like to go further when i'm inking is i like to use hatching to create shadows right to emphasize the creases right here and okay when you because i put like hatching to show the shadows to let you know that if light if light's coming from this direction um shadows will be formed beneath these creases and beneath the knuckles you know make it a little more stylized but in a cool way okay that's the first hand we'll draw today let me move that to the side okay now let's draw a let's draw a more complicated hand pose okay and like i said let's, let's follow the same rules that we laid out earlier so like i said okay you want the box you want the box shaped um palm right and I say, like, the thing is, you have to practice this over and over again. You're not going to watch this video once or twice or even five times and get it down the way I do it. Um, but uh, you, you keep practicing, you know, every day, maybe at school, at work, you have a sketchbook. Just keep practicing it, right? And eventually it'll click. You have that aha moment, right? So you can, as you can see, I've put down the box of the palm. I'm not putting in the rings, the circles, where the fingers would go. Okay. And so this, I'm drawing a more complicated hand. And um, let's do the French fries now. Let me move this a little bit downward like this. Okay, let me do French fries now. So I'm doing a kind of like a evil hand thing. I don't know. You'll see. So this is the French fry, but you know the French fry is bending now because we're having the finger um, show movement. As you can see, we haven't even drawn those um, those bends in the fingers, the creases. But I'm already I'm already making the fingers bend to that same rule of two bends per finger you have to memorize this thing right you're not just gonna decide to draw a hand one day and draw one perfectly you have to memorize how the fingers move what uh, how the fingers are you know structured uh, what the fingers can and can't do how they can and cannot bend you know and that's how you learn it and it's through practice and just experience okay and like I said see french fries it bends in two places right here gonna go ahead and do the rest of the fingers and then I'll skip to where uh, I'll skip to the video where I 
had all the french fries placed okay so now look i've uh, put down the french fries for all the fingers and the palm and everything now let's go ahead and reduce the opacity of that layer and let's start you know drawing the actual hands okay so i don't need to you know draw the the ridges and everything again and do it slowly because you already saw me do that with the first hand okay now let's go ahead and just jump right into it like i said you want to round the tips a little bit get make the fingers look a little more natural but still give it that hint that hint of a boxy shape right because hands just overall look better when they have more they, they don't look like um something that's really round they don't look like sausages okay like even if you look at your favorite artists like horikoshi kohei and like i like mine even yusuke murata they, they they don't draw the hands looking necessarily like sausages right they have their stylistic differences but like i said the hands look like sausages okay now i'm drawing things in the hand and basically how i know that this uh the thumb bumps this way on this um on this left hand is because i've, I've been drawing hands for a while and you, there's no way you can learn that unless you you know you draw hands a lot and use a lot of reference and basically now i have it in my mental library i've memorized where these bumps and creases will go even on the palm and not necessarily the finger itself okay so let's see so the bumps right here All right, and even, even as, I, as I'm drawing here, you can see the bumps on the knuckles from this angle, but it's not gonna be too pronounced. It's just gonna be there. So like, I won't necessarily show the actual diamond shape from this angle. It's just simply because of the, the, the way we're doing it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, draw the rest of the fingers here, and I'm gonna skip to when I have them drawn. Okay, so now this is the, this is, uh, the hand after we've, uh, after I've sketched it. Uh, using the french fry method and now i'm going to add my personal touches to make the hand you know give it a little bit more oomph and now with the hatching that i was talking about earlier to emphasize the um the fingers a little bit kind of simulating light but you don't necessarily have to actually have it simulate light it's just more of a stylistic thing i'm going to put them here underneath the creases of the fingers right here on the thumb as well okay another thing that i'm going to do like i said in the first the first hand that i drew i'm going to add like a lines here around the edges and basically i add these lines around the um around the origins of the finger for lack of a better word because it kind of trick the viewer's eye into seeing the form of the hand right so if your hand looks a little flat you could go ahead and like add lines like this right form lines if you will but not having them obviously be form lines okay but basically it'll make the hand look less flat and give it more of a 3d feel if if it's necessary sometimes you draw the hand well enough you don't even need that okay all right so so far the hand is looking good i'm gonna finish the drawing here by just adding a little bit more of the wrist to make it look a little cooler okay and uh move the bottom layer here and there you have it um this is my way of drawing hands through something that i call the french fry method okay the french fry method all right and there you have it um thank you so much for watching this video especially if you made it to the end please let me know if this youtube video was helpful to you also let me know if you like more videos like this you know less scripted you know not so heavy on the editing and a little more you know just basically a tutorial let me know if you want more tutorials and let me know what you want me to teach you how to draw next till next time thank you for watching the youtube video you beautiful art nerds it's Diddy mark here deuces